Hello friends, Reverend Aaron Stockwell, your new senior minister. I am hoping to do some uh, weekly vid video check-ins with you, just kind of sharing some of my thoughts about how things are going in our congregation and in the wider world. It is so wonderful to actually be in the Meeting House Sanctuary. My weekend interview with the search committee was the weekend before the world shut down. So I have had a brief amount of time to spend in your space, which is now our space. I'm on day, by my count, 13 of my ministry with you, which means I am still using my GPS to get around the city. I don't know the last time you moved someplace new. Given the timing of it, you might have used paper maps or a GPS. It's a really weird time. You know the addresses of various places, so you plug them in, you go there, and then you go back home. Sometimes driving by other locations you'll need to get to later in the day, but because you don't know exactly where you are going, you end up backtracking. Now granted, I do know how to get some places. I do know how to get from my apartment to First Parish and back, though today when I was driving here to film this video, I got turned around and took a wrong turn and ended up in Saxonville. Uh, I did consider a big win when I figured out how to get from my parents' house in Littleton uh, to my apartment and back or uh, figuring out how to get from, the, uh, from a double feature at the Menden Twin Drive-In Theater back to my apartment without using GPS. I don't yet understand how the labyrinth of streets fits together, and I suspect it will take a while. But then, at some point, there is a moment where everything clicks, and suddenly you know how to get from point A to point B. It feels pretty much the same when you're entering a new community or congregation. I've spoken with several committees and lay leaders of our congregation, met a few local interfaith colleagues, and also touched base with organizations that we have partnered with over the years. In other words, I've visited the distinct and separate spots in our congregation, but I haven't yet seen or am barely able to understand how the separate parts become this community. It takes a while, but I know it will happen. Now, there is a lot more to talk about, uh, but that'll have to wait until next week. I have a virtual retreat with the Board of Assessors on Saturday. I'm filming this on Friday afternoon. I don't, I don't know when we'll get to share this. Uh, but I hope that that retreat will help me get a further sense of how this system, how this community that is the First Parish in Framingham fits together. Now, I wanted to end this video uh, with a poem by a Unitarian Universalist minister in Minnesota, the Reverend Karen Herring. Reverend Herring writes this, where the map ends and the poets begin. Yes, here, at the edge of our knowing, let us set down our maps, call in the poets, call up the poet within all of us to pick up the endings, remake them and rearrange them in bold new pairings and unexpected line breaks. Now, we recall, though the road we are on has ended, this round world and the gravity that draws us to it know no bounds. Trusting this, we begin again, setting our pens to the open page, encountering unknown ground, befriending the dragons that call it home. My question to you today and maybe I'll end a lot of these videos with this, with a question. Feel free to respond either to yourself or write me an email or a text message or just write it in the comments below. My question to you is when you enter a new routine community or organization, what do you do to make it seem familiar, to make it feel familiar? 
looking forward to reading some of your answers to this question. Be well, friends.